So it will be a mid silencer. We have the 8.3k MMR. They will find Bandon Artizi. Oh, he doesn't have waveform. He's in trouble. Oh, oh Artizi is going to morph to strength. And they're going to see morph. Now they know he doesn't have waveform. How much damage can they actually do? Pycat's not close enough for a storm hammer, but will it matter? Yep, so well, stunning. Shackle one. in one he's second. Yeah, he's dead. He's done for. Artizi was not watching the map. That's the only way. He was too happens. busy looking at his profile. He's like, oh, the 8k MMR is so yeah. sweet. Oh, oh, right off the try. bat. Oh, they could get the courier too. Which one's more important? Here. He's gonna go he for both. Hit, son. Yeah, <laughs> right. no, I think that's fine. Yes. First strike in oh, the arrow, right three. clicks. Oh my god, they're gonna get both! Oh, huge blunder from Weeha. Uses the... Oh, he's gonna oh. live! I don't know, he still has All to right. run back to base though. He traded Courier for that basically. Because the Courier brought him the salve that kept him alive. I, think, I feel like it's way scarier for Legion. Her armor's quite low. Oh, mid lane, so, we have another gank attempt onto Weeha. 8.3k will not get you out of this one, good sir. Sumail taking quite a bit of damage, but will live through the day. AP support. Who is that? That is the Shadow Shaman. All right. Shots. Doshka. How do you actually say that? It's just Soxa? I don't think that's the right way to pronounce it. Look at the letters. No, no, I know what the letters show. I don't think that's the right way to pronounce it, though. I don't even know country this guy's from. How much is not pronounce it? Silencer goes down yet again. Not a good start for Weeha at all. Fear. Sandstorm's up and there's no vision. You saying? Well, you saying like, that Leech is going to contribute more early or something? No, that's, that's always the issue with Leech trying to mid lane. In the meantime, Burrow Strike into a Shadow Strike. Again, signs are dead. My god. They're just yeah. picking on poor Weeha. This, this is the nice thing about how much pressure they put on. Now at this stage, he knows he's getting nothing from his lane. He's like completely gimped here. Like, Morphling is not the solo like uh, farm hero. You know what's funny is he could... Uh, under attack. He transition to support Morphling and just get a ridiculous stun from Adaptive Strike like a Sasuke. Ay ay ay. This mid lane is a disaster for Mama's boys. I, I don't really blame him though. Like, it's very hard to, to predict that level when Smoke Ink. It doesn't come very often. There's the dive. Weeha's so Oh, Weeha. You gotta strike him. Is the Burrow Strike in range? Indeed it is. Into a Sonic Wave and Arrow to finish him off. The Fairy Fire will not save you. And even the Disjoint just to add insult to injury. So, Mail, good to go. Pycat forced to TP to mid lane. He's gonna get nothing out of it. Well, he has He's a mango. Got a mango, I guess. He was gonna have uh, sandstorm though. He can sandstorm. It's so easy. It's just not worth it for Pycat to try. Right. Cool decision for EG. Rather than do a tri lane, you know that's probably why they didn't bother covering him. They said, all right, if we, oh. if we do Morphling, Sand King. All right, do? PPD done if, for. If they do Sand King, Morphling, uh, Mirana, the creeps of Mama's boys, they're gonna find him. Do they have vision? No, at least that I see. Pycat doesn't have anything, and the sports do not either. Fear doesn't know this for sure, though, so he's being passive. Oh man, he's creating so much space. This is a bamboo move right here. Crank boots makes attack. a big difference. Can they get the. Yeah, I think this is doable. Oh, yeah. they're gonna get it. Mm. Damage. Indeed, he does. And extra two intelligence. That's the first two for Weeha. Please. Time from Silencer. Radiance Has the global ult to work with. Attack. Universe. It's gonna find Soxa. Oh man, into an arrow. Global Science is a little too late to save the Pugna. Poor little support guy. Does he even have boots yet? Oh, he does have boots, so that's something to be proud of, I suppose. Here comes the burst strike from Fear PPD as well, but here comes Pycat. He's gonna get Sonic Wave down into the Queen of Pain. My god, the burst damage is out of control for Sumail. Three dead in the blink of an eye. Sumail's gonna get covered by the Moonlight Shadow of PPD. Can they find more? Screaming of Pain online, and yeah, down goes Weeha. This is a disaster for Mama's boys. He's got his yules ready too. Ooh. They don't have Burrow's Fairy Fire. Oh, and he's gonna go down. <laughs> little too cocky. Oh. More damage going the way of Legion Commander. Let's turn this around. A little bit too cocky from EG. PPD with the leap available. We'll use it just in case. The universe will TP out. A little bit of a blunder there from EG. I, I wonder what minute it'll be when RTZ contributes to this game. <laughs> but it might be a long time. Oh, and he's it's not contributing. Oh behind. boy. Berserker's call. Universe Four comes in. RTZ yes. better be careful. He's gonna drop to the deck, and that's more damage going the way of Legion Commander. But here comes Fear with the Epicenter Blink combination into a Burrow Strike, but a nice ult from Pycat. They're gonna clean up Fear in all likelihood. More damage going the way of Weeha in the form of Intelligence. And for one, you lose well, Legion Commander. RTZ contributed to his opponent's gold gain. Yeah. Contributing this whole game by the fact that they're, they're targeting him so much, right? Yeah, true, and everybody else definitely. is, is creating space for his team. In, in a way, he is the support more playing. Weeha initiated on yet again. Sonic Wave, not really going to do too much, okay. as Pugna just sucks him dry. Nicely done. Uh, it's really the other way, blowing him. Oh, okay, thanks, Perch. <laughs> Sex
Well, they're gonna find the Shadow Shaman. Pycat almost got the kill on Sumail, but now they're just gonna kite him. Oh, big time. Wave Hog comes in. Arteezy trying to right click. And Pycat with. Oh, okay. Random stun, but not gonna do enough. And this tier one's dead. Legion Commander. Yeah. I'm gonna say. It's a funny, it's a funny game, man. <laughs> There's a lot of kills like that, basically. Like, PBD is like, oh, wow, sounds like game point. I'm just gonna. Purge. AK MMR. Looking to prevail versus the 8.3 and what did you say uh, Soxel was? 8.2? Something like that? Was pretty damn high. Oh, we have the Yules by the mail. And speaking of Stashka, just drops to the deck. Really long burrow strike range. It's really nice. Alright, PyCat. I, I feel like his money is missing, actually. His secret shop here. They have no vision for him. He's doing perfectly fine. Waveform in. Yapsor taking quite a bit of damage. Arteezy though, right, taking nice. damage in turn. He's morphing up though. He's gonna live through this it looks like. He replicates out. They do find Axe though. So up in the end, one for one. It's Fear attempting to run away. Blink Dagger continually getting cancelled. Burrow Strike is not there in time. Okay. So two Working. for one. Mama's Boy's showing signs of life. Legion Commander takes the Aegis. Interesting. I mean, he... She is the most farmed on Mama's voice. Oh boy, Weeha. Bye bye, good sir. Actually, now that I look at it, Ben is the most farmed. Arteez is going to wait for more. Universe looking for counter initiation. Of course, has that Crimson Guard to work with. Very tanky. Meanwhile, in the jungle, PPD getting caught off guard. Shackled. I can actually ult for this. Find some more. Fear with a beautiful double burrow strike. Looking for Yapsor with the Orchid of Malevolence. He will pop one way or another. And down he goes. It's more initiation possibilities here. Legion Commander looking for oh, some mail. We'll get extra damage with the help of the Storm Hammer. Up to 72 extra damage. Legion Commander is the saving grace here for Mama's boys. They would love Dyer's to trade tier 3 for tier 2. Force coming in though, Weeha, with Global Silence available. Morphling has the replicate. Oh, Radiance Lincoln's just popped. The disables will follow Weeha with the silence, and oh, down yeah. goes Morphling. My goodness, he dropped really fast. Universe forced to pop BKB will be up to safety. Jamail caught with the storm hammer, and there is the duel. More damage for Legion Commander, plus 90. Dude, what a good 20 seconds for Mama's boys. That's Agnum, except you have so many escape mechanisms now. You have Sandstorm, you have Burrow Strike, you have yep. Blink. Arteezy. Oh, he's gonna get ganked. Oh my god. Oh my goodness, they get it. Ooh, it was actually quite, quite close, but more damage. Legion Commander, looking good. Item for damage in the mid game. When you get Moonshard, do you feel kind of sad when you have to eat it? Mid lane, doing a pain. Whoa, I feel like I'm saying this every time it's off cooldown, but more damage the way of Legion Commander. Plus 126. Shat all over it, probably the best way to put it. And it pops, they know they're here. He's going to initiate onto whom? Arrow will not connect onto Legion Commander. He pops the BKB, looking for PPD. He is so fast, but somehow finds the range with Duel. And the Aether Shock will add more damage to Legion Commander's stats. Uh, looks like Ag's next up for Axe. Lower cooldown on Cloven Blade. Um, and uh, bigger threshold. Oh wow. my god, my cat blink. What the hell just happened there? Universe is the target for Legion Commander. Don't think he has enough damage to get this. Indeed, he oh does go at the last moment in time. Arteezy already used Manta, so the silence will just decimate him. Oh, he has wait for him up now. I hear the epicenter coming in. From Fear, it's completely whipped until the Burrow Strike finally connects on Legion Commander. And down she goes, but that is just the Aegis. Pycat doesn't look like he's going to get the kill on Arteez, who barely TPs out in time. And Legion and... Yeah. And Sven, I mean, he's very strong, but potential to be kited is more than almost any yeah. other hero. Ursa is probably number one on the list. Bugna. Well, they're going to use a Global Silence to try to save this cuddly little guy. Will it matter? Nope. Universe dunks him into oblivion. Pycat. Yules up. Oh, this could be huge for EG. Arrow will oh, connect into the Burrow Strike and Pycat, you are dead. He has buyback. Same with the Pugna. And EG's gonna look perhaps to force them out. From that, but they got a little. God. Oh my god, oh, fear. Get oh, oh my fear. god, that cast oh, range. No. <laughs> Oh, more damage. That was super, super risky with very little gain. I'm surprised he even went for that, but I almost feel like that photo is not like a horrible thing, is it? 
I didn't think that at least. Uh, that was really... my impression. God, what? You're so I don't think up, he dude. cares at all. But I'm maybe I'll ask him. I, I am sure he cares at least one percent. Like, one percent. Yeah, I wish. I wish that that wasn't public on the internet. All right. While we yeah. talked about that, Science just got shit on. So there's that. He doesn't have buyback. That's 70 seconds on the deck. Meanwhile, bottom jungle, Radiant jungle. Oh, I should say fear again dies. More damage. You heard this story before. They got the TP back though. Universe. Looking to initiate on this. TP is canceled. Oh, Hi, Cat. All you can do is right-click, pop the BKB. RTZ taking quite a bit of damage. He's going to use the replica to get out. Universe in the meantime, Berserker's call. He has Blink available. Will TP out and should not make it. My goodness. Nice stun. Bottom lane in the meantime, Sumail shackled up. Yapsor taking the right-clicks, the PPD. Something to fear indeed, but it's a one-for-one one at the end of the day. Legion Commander. Dual Simshim. Have Duel for another 16 seconds. Tough to catch PPD, and we'll just give up. Arrow, not going to be there. A uh, bit of a weird fight. They got a gem out of it, but they lose to disaster. Yeah. <laughs> man, oh man. Top lane, though. What about so a push commences. Arteezy, Link has just popped. Immediately replicates up. Look at the damage from his illusions. Jesus, man. It's okay. It's not amazing. Oh, oh get the I hear the duel. It's on PPD. More damage. Yep. There you go. 216. Was that... You said gem? Okay. Will EG find anyone? TZ will walk right into PyCat. Do they want to prioritize? Although Legion Commander is actually invisible thanks to Arun. PyCat taking a lot of damage to RTZ. Duel gonna be on Universe. Do they have enough damage to actually get him? Here comes the epicenter combination from Fear. That is Aegis going down the tubes for Weeha. Global Silence is still up and running, but that is a dead Legion Commander, and I don't even know if it's worth using. He's gonna use it right now. PyCat on the run. Has a blink available to get the hell out of dodge if he needs to. Buyback, was that? Who bought back? Legion oh, that Commander. Legion Commander bought back. Can he even get here in time? Weeha pops the BKB, pops the oh, cheese, the looking for as much damage as possible. And Artesia is just destroying him. One more adaptive strike takes him out. Pycat in the meantime getting completely kited in this fight. He has done literally nothing overall. One waveform should be enough to take out Pycat as well. And this fight for EG has gone super well. Yapsor doing a 1v1 battle with PPD as more buybacks come into the fray. Sven, Legion Command trying to use the Serpent Wars to cover, but he's just does too much damage at this point of the game. That is a team wipe times a million, it feels like, with two buybacks. Yeah. Sven, ooh. It's it's very clear that Morphling is one of the best late game carries, and this is this completely showed it, man. That's sure 2016. It's time to party, guys. And Morphling feels pretty damn safe overall. Legion Command, they know he doesn't have a buyback. Arteezy. No, the counter initiation there from Universe. We do have a buyback this time by Pugna, but my god, we hug it's destroyed. Universe takes a beating from Pycat though. BKB popped by him, but again, the kiting is Whoa! real. The double kill! Literally two shot RTZ getting two cocky. Oh, so he buys back. He's gonna yep. TP back into the fray. Pycat's ult's not gonna last too much longer. And again, he can get kited. Orchid it up. And RTZ so just finishes there. off the Satanic. Has no buyback, of course. Just used it. To mail pretty low. Fear with a long-ass Burl Strike. Thanks to the Agnum Scepter. Yapsor getting healed by Soxa. Sonic Wave getting them both low. Yapsor might actually fall to the Shadow Strike and Toxic Finale combination. But nope. Looks to survive as Midrax getting pounded upon again. RTZ fortification pop by Mama's Boys. Wanted to say Monkey Boys again. And this is going to be only, a pre man, The only reason that Arteezy died there is because he made an illusion of the Dying Sven. So Sven hit the illusion that Cleave does pure damage, <laughs> really? and then he double hit. Like, if he was hitting Morphling directly, it wouldn't have done 1400 damage a hit. But because yeah. he was hitting somebody else, the Cleave damage did just about that much. It did give them a couple seconds to do damage uncontested. Ooh, Moonlight Shadow. Looks like EG actually wants to do something. Uh, Roshan is going to be up in 30 seconds. I Morphling can't. dies. Ooh, Burrow strike in. He's taking so much damage. Sonic Wave. Global oh, Science is in. Soxa crap. healing him up. Universe is forced out. BKB's pop galore. Everybody's a golden monkey these days. It looks like Samael's going to be the target of choice for Legion Command. Doesn't get his duel off in time. We've seen the Epicenter coming to the fray on three years into oh, a Sonic Wave. It. The damage is out of control for EG, and this looks to be it. Oh, Legion yeah. Commander loses the duel. Arteezy takes 18 extra damage as if he needed it. Pycat trying for a last ditch effort, but he gets kind of. To a high degree, and GG's come out. EG win 2-0 in this first group stage match. My God, what a game! The, the Mama's Boys fight looked so good at the start, but they couldn't duel the the Queen of Pain. She had a Lincoln, so he's standing there. He's like, God, I'd really like to duel you, but I know you have a Lincoln. This isn't gonna do anything, and they had no way to stop those Lincolns when the BKB is also up. So, if they would have dueled the Co-op, they maybe could have won that fight. But a great epicenter.